In the shadows of classified hangars and cutting-edge war games, a new force is emerging from the east, and it's turning heads across the Pentagon. Meet the J-50, China's next-generation stealth fighter jet, a machine engineered not just to fly, but to rewrite the rules of air dominance. While the U.S. pushes forward with its futuristic NGAD project, China has quietly developed a warplane that's faster, smarter, and more elusive than anything it's ever built before. This isn't about catching up, it's about catching off guard. The age of Western air superiority may be coming to an end. Here's why. Now here's where things get really crazy. You'd expect the J-50 to be just a smaller version of the J-20, right? Maybe a few tweaks here and there? Wrong. What China's building is something far more refined. A complete reimagination of what a stealth fighter should be in a 21st century dogfight. First off, let's talk about the look. And no, not just because it looks futuristic. The J-50's diamond delta wing design doesn't just make it slick, it makes it dangerous. The curves are gone, the edges are blended, and every surface screams, good luck catching me on radar. But that's not even the coolest part. The air intakes, flush with the body, the engine exhaust, flattened and heat absorbing. That might sound like tech jargon, but here's the bottom line. This thing is a ghost, both to your radar and your infrared sensors. It's not just hard to see, it's hard to track, hard to lock onto, and damn near impossible to catch once it vanishes. But it wasn't the low observability that shocked military analysts the most. Don't get me wrong, that's crucial. But the one thing that had people double-checking the specs, a little phrase called stealth plasma cloaking, yeah. China's reportedly tested a system that literally ionizes the air around the jet to scatter radar waves. It sounds like science fiction, because until recently it was. But China's pushing that boundary fast, and this stealth doesn't come at the cost of performance. Powered by the brand new WS-19 engine, the J-50 can supercruise at Mach 1.8. That's flying supersonic without afterburners. For reference, most current-gen fighters need to guzzle fuel like crazy just to hit those speeds for a few seconds. This one can sustain it. Oh, and we haven't even talked about maneuverability. With its multi-axial thrust vectoring system, the J-50 can pull off Cobra turns, high alpha loops, and low-speed knife fights with precision. It's the kind of agility that can flip a losing pilot into a dominant position in seconds. And in air combat, seconds are everything. So, no. This isn't just a Chinese response to the F-22 or even the NGAD. This is China saying, we're not just catching up anymore, we're setting the pace. All right, so we've talked about how the J-50 moves like a ghost and fights like a cobra, but here's the twist. It's not just a machine of muscle, it's a brain in the sky. You see, traditional air superiority used to be about speed, altitude, and firepower. But today, it's about information. Whoever sees first, decides first, and strikes first, wins. And the J-50? It's playing that game on an entirely different level. Let's start with the radar, not your granddad's radar system. This is a dual-frequency AESA array with both passive and active modes. That means it can sniff out stealth aircraft without shouting its own location across the sky. And then there's the 360-degree optical system, infrared sensors, and electronic support measures all working together. It's not just sensing threats, it's analyzing them mapping them, and predicting what they'll do next. But the real game changer? Sensor fusion. The J-50 doesn't just collect data, it understands it. Every bit of info from satellites, ground stations, drones, even other aircraft, it's all fed into a single decision-making brain on board. Imagine a pilot who doesn't just react, but knows what's coming five seconds before it happens. And yes, AI plays a massive role here, not just for autopilot or flight correction, we're talking about predictive combat intelligence. The J-50's AI system is reportedly capable of identifying enemy movement patterns before they even become a threat. That's not just cool, it's terrifying. Because this jet isn't just flying with the pilot, it's thinking with them. Oh, and let's not forget its network-centric warfare capabilities. The J-50 isn't alone out there. It flies in digital formation with UAVs like the GJ-11 or its own AI wingman, coordinating attacks from multiple angles. You're not just facing a jet you're facing an entire intelligent swarm moving like one mind. And here's what's really frustrating for its rivals. This system is designed to be independent. While Western platforms like the F-35 rely heavily on NATO data links and support structures, the J-50 is built to operate solo, deep inside contested airspace, guiding drones, spoofing radar, and running tactical warfare like a flying command post. So yeah, 
If you're picturing the J-50 as just a stealthy dogfighter, think again. This thing is a combat algorithm with wings. All right, now let's get to the part that really makes or breaks any fighter jet, the firepower. Because all the stealth, speed, and sensor tech in the world means nothing if your jet can't deliver a knockout punch when it counts. And trust me, the J-50 can. Now here's what's really important to understand. This jet wasn't just built to survive, it was built to hunt. Long range, high speed, and with surgical precision. Inside that internal weapons bay, which by the way, keeps its stealth profile clean, the J-50 can pack up to six long-range air-to-air missiles. But these aren't your average missiles. We're talking about hypersonic variants of the PL-15 and PL-21, missiles that can close the distance on a target at speeds over Mach 5. That means by the time your radar sees them, it's already too late. And here's where the Chinese engineers made a very smart move, modularity. The weapon system is fully adaptable, you can switch those air-to-air -air missiles out for anti-radiation missiles that take out enemy radar stations, or load up precision-guided bombs to wipe out hardened targets. So this isn't just a one-trick air superiority fighter. This is a multi-role assassin that can go from air-to-air -air duels to deep strike missions without skipping a beat. It's flexible, it's fast, and, most importantly, it doesn't rely on external pods or payloads that would mess up its stealth profile. And that's a huge deal. Because when you're flying into a contested airspace where every radar ping could mean a missile lock, the last thing you want is to be glowing on someone's screen because of a dangling bomb rack. And get this, thanks to its advanced avionics and AI-assisted targeting systems, the J-50 doesn't just fire weapons, it prioritizes them. It knows what to shoot, when to shoot, and where the enemy is most vulnerable. In real terms, the J-50 can sneak in, blind your air defenses, take out your early warning systems, and then pick off your fighter escorts, all before you even realize your command center's gone dark. It's not just a fighter, it's a strategic tool designed for decapitation strikes and long-range dominance. So here we are. We've seen the speed, the brains, the stealth, and the strike power. But let's not dodge the big question. How does the J-50 really stack up against the world's best? Is it hype? or is it truly a threat to U.S. air dominance? Let's start with the F-35, the West's poster child for multi-role stealth. Don't get me wrong, the F-35 is a phenomenal aircraft. Its weapons integration, global support infrastructure, and interoperability with NATO forces are second to none. But in a pure 1v1, the J-50 has clear tactical advantages. It's faster, more agile, and its electronic warfare suite is straight up next gen. Where the F-35 was built to fight with friends, the J-50 was built to fight alone and win. Now you might say, well, what about NGAD? And sure, the U.S. Next Generation Air Dominance Program is shaping up to be a monster. It's not just a jet. It's a whole ecosystem. Drones, AI, 6G communication networks, the works. But here's the thing. It doesn't exist yet. Not an active service. Meanwhile, the J-50 is real, it's flying, and it's being fine-tuned right now. In fact, it's the only 6th gen capable platform in Asia that even comes close to threatening NGAD future dominance. Against Russia's Su-57, the J-50 comes off as the more refined, better integrated system. And when compared to the European FKAS, it falls behind in modularity and joint AI development. But it wins in real-world progress, radar evasion, and digital warfare. So, no, the J-50 isn't perfect. It's not the most connected fighter globally. It doesn't come with an alliance network, but it doesn't need one. It was built to operate in the shadows, disrupt enemy networks, confuse radar systems, and strike with zero warning. And that's what makes it so dangerous. Because in the end, air dominance isn't just about dogfights or missile ranges. It's about who's moving faster in design, in deployment, and in strategy. And China? It's no longer following the playbook. It's writing its own. If you think the skies belong to just one superpower, think again. And don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the future of air combat.